Now we will talk about the cucumber scenarios. Scenario is one of the core Gherkin structure. Every scenario starts with the code with the keyword scenario or localized one. Localized one it me means uh, it depends on the on the native language we use and is followed by an optional scenario title. Each feature can have one or more scenarios and every scenario consists of one or more steps. A very simple example of scenario can be scenario verify help functionality. User a given user navigates to Facebook. When the user clicks on help, then the help page opens. Consider a case where we need to execute a test scenario more than once. Suppose we need to make sure that the creation functionality is working for a list of given persons. That requires ex execution of creation functionality scenarios scenario multiple times. Copy-paste the same steps in order to just re-execute the code does not seem to be a smart idea. For this, Gherkin provides one, one more structure, which is scenario outline. The scenario outline is similar to scenario structure. The only difference is the, the provision of mul multiple inputs. As you can see in the following example, the test case remains the same, non-repeatable. At, at the bottom, we, we have provided multiple inputs, value, values for the variables first name, last name, and birth date. While running the actual test, Cucumber will replace the variable with input values provided in the in provided and it will execute the test. Once uh, pass one has been executed, the test will, will rerun for second iteration with another input value. Such are variable uh, such variable or placeholders can be represented with with this sign, the greater and the less. While while mentioning with Gherkin statements. So an example scenario outline we need to do a bulk creation given the database contains n persons when I create a new person with first name and last name and birth date those are our variables then I get the ID of the created person and the database contains more than n persons and here it's mandatory to, to provide examples with the headers like were mentioned in the variables here. First name, as we can see, it's the same here. Last name and birth date. And then we can provide, we can provide our, uh, our, our variables or our values. Here, there are a few tips and tricks to smartly define the Cucumber scenarios. Each step should be clearly defined so that it does not create any confusion or for, for the reader. Do not repeat the test scenarios. If needed, use scenario outline to implement repetitions. Develop a test step in a way that it can be used within multiple scenarios and scenario outlines. So this is, this is all about the Cucumber scenarios.